All right, Ivan, it's your turn. It went up the rules. And there's probably going to be some wind noise. I don't know if I'll be able to upload this, but if I am able to upload this, uh, I'm going to share the secrets um, to having friends, having power, and influ influencing people. And uh, now I don't know this from first hand. You're like, well, where's your power? Where's all your friends? Um, <laughs> but I've observed some folks uh, that, uh, that have the attributes that you seem to admire. And uh, I'll tell you what their secrets appear to be. Um, no, buddy. No. Um, first of all, they're kind of like tranquil pools, these people. Because really what they're trying not to do as much as uh, um, be like water that carves its way through stone. Uh, they're trying to reflect back the things that they want and admire and uh, thus end up surrounding themselves with people that they admire and uh, people uh, who admire them back. So, how do you become a tranquil pool, for one? Um, these people are also really contained. They don't express the things that, uh, that might be unpleasant for others or uh, create any kind of anxiety or uh, unpleasantness. They're more concerned in a situation with uh, exhibiting uh, uh, excellent manners than they are with, uh, say like the, uh, say you're at a dinner table and the, the plate uh, the plate of meat's coming around. There's only one plate of meat and for some reason it passes you by. Um, the kind of person you're looking to be, I think, is the kind of person that just doesn't mention that. Um, they just like just get to work on their salad and say, "God, the salad's so delicious! Congratulations, you! Uh, I never would have thought to put pear in it. That really is kind of like an exciting additional flavor and texture." And then, uh, as as you uh, reflect back what you like and people, they notice that you didn't get. Uh, hey, the meat must have passed you by. Allow me to help you to a slice, sir. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. I think I will have a tad bit of uh, the meat. I knew this one person that uh, everyone liked. This person, I believe, sent out over 900 Christmas cards. And they were joking when I, when I found out about it. They're like, yes, I'm going to stop at 1,000, they said. But I got the impression they'd send out 2,000 uh, Christmas cards if they had 2,000 addresses. Um, they, uh, I heard about them from some friends that had gone to Europe with this uh, woman. and. Uh, She's walking down the street and uh, recognizes someone across the street. She's the kind of person that could travel anywhere in the world, and there's a chance she's going to know somebody there. Um, and here's how she does it. She's really, really interested in other people. Uh, in a conversation, she's listening um, and remembering. You, you mentioned uh, the rules having like a good memory, and uh, anger could really... Uh, Heighten uh, situation. Uh, a moment of anger could be memorized really easily. It's actually, I think, more difficult uh, to remember clearly the most pleasant times in our lives. So this takes some practice. And this woman practiced that. And she would do it by uh, when she'd write down, um, when she'd meet somebody, she's like, oh, well, let me send you a postcard from where we're going next. And she'd write down who they were um, and uh, where they met them, a little about them. And as time went on, like not only would that become memorized, but uh, those little notes would grow um, as they, they spent more time with this uh, person in their lives. Even if they didn't really see them ever, um, they were still interested in them. So, I guess... What I'm saying is, if, if you want the things that you say you want, uh, you want lots of friends, uh, you want the ladies to, uh, to feel you, um, you want to influence folks, um, you're going to have to uh, be less interested in yourself and really, really interested in them. And when you want to influence somebody, it's pretty much you're going to have to influence on something that they say, I want to become an artist. 
and you're like, well, you want to influence them, you're going to have to say, well, you're, you, you strike me as a really creative person. I bet you anything with what you've told me about uh, what you know about business would go great with your creativity. And uh, I bet you'd be a fantastic artist. And they think, not only do you influence them, you encourage them to do what uh, they want to do, but they're going to remember that not only were you interested and helpful, but you encouraged them. But that's the thing about encouraging people, it's, it's not going to work really unless they're, you know, like I said earlier about people being water. People are, gonna, people are pretty much flowing where they're going to flow. And uh, you could help uh, and you could reflect back um, the wonderful things. But if you try to uh, guide too much, you're just going to be like, you know, roll a, a boulder into a stream because you want to help it change direction. Just watch what happens to the water and the boulder. So, well, I wish you luck, Rules. You're a, uh, you're, you're a captivating individual. Um, I like your straightforward nature, uh, is what I mean by that. You, uh, you say what you think. Um, but I think you might notice that... Uh, the people that have the most influence on those around them uh, are way more circumspect with sharing what's going on for themselves. And they're more, uh, like I said earlier, they're more reflective of the people around them. Not that you shouldn't be who you are, um, but uh, you ever seen someone uh, meet a bunch of people for the first time or go to work in a place for the first time. They tend to be uh, much more reserved. They're more reserved, polite, kind, attentive uh, them. They're, they're being their best selves. So, okay, Rose. Good luck, buddy.